Hi everyone, welcome to Corey's House. Today we've got an unboxing for you. It is from the man himself, Hambini. It is the BB386 Shimano Racing Edition Black Bottom Bracket. Okay, let's get straight on with it. Um, I'm just going to put everything on the table that's in the box and then we'll go through it. So we've got some stuff there. We've got that and we've got that. Okay, everything can go away. So this is what we've got in the box. And they're not cheap at uh, £234. That's with VAT um, because I am come from a nice... Island where we don't pay VAT, it's 195 for me. <laughs> As you know, or you may not know, Hambini, aerospace engineer, makes some amazing things. Um, and he makes his own bottom brackets. And this is the version I'm going to need for my bike. So it's a proprietary heat treated alloy, stiffer than the standard, 20%. It's made to aerospace tolerances, guarantees a no slop fit with good retention. One piece design is inherently crank, uh, creak free. It uses NTN or NSK ultra low friction bearings. No hammers to install or remove because that will not be very good for it. Fully serviceable design. The bearings are designed to you can take them out without having to remove the sleeve. It's got a one year warranty. Supplied with fitting adapters, a press or stub by an M12. Okay, and it's a one piece design. They maintain perfect bearing alignment under function and function under loads in excess of 4000 watts. Now, if I ever get to 4000 watts, I'm going to uh, leave my job as a firefighter and do something else. So, you basically press it in from the drive side, I believe, using some tools, okay, uh, to press it in. These are Dalrin, so they don't damage or friction weld themselves to each other. Um, just to protect the ends while you're pressing it in. I have actually got um, some bars, um, that is to remove the bearings. So that sits around the bearing and you pull the bearing out. So that is the bearing removal bit. Um, that is a piece where you draw the, oh, sorry, it will go that way around, where you draw it out of the frame, yeah, for if you ever need to take it out. That's so you can depress it out of the frame. I don't know if there's a technical word for that. Unpress, I'm not even sure. That's a Dalrin sleeve. Had to buy, I think I had to buy this separately as well, removal tool. But all the, all the tools to put it in are there. See, there we go. So you can just press it into your bike with these Dalrin sleeves, which are beautifully manufactured, I have to admit. Now, in order to fit through um, the Shimano spindle, it comes with Dalrin sleeves. Yeah, they just sit over the bearing face and then you press them in. I don't want to press them in because I've got to get them back out. But that is the Shimano spindle diameter press this into your frame put in the sleeves job done one piece so there's no creaking there's no misalignment they won't be misaligned up or down or angled they're perfectly aligned so my crank will spin very freely so that is a very quick look round the racing edition and beanie bb386 to shimano enough babbling Let's get it weighed. Yep. Scales of death. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. The unit um, with the bearings in is 136 grams. With the Dalrin sleeves, it brings it up to 146. So 146 grams for your one piece. Hambini superb bottom bracket. I'm in no doubt I will have no problems with this, being as it's manufactured so perfectly and you'll see me put it in the bike when uh, the bike turns up 
thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Thanks to Hambini for sending it. I paid for it, by the way. It wasn't free. See you later. Take care. Bye.